welcome to the Lens Cut Chronicles. My name's Amanda and this weekend we're in Salala. This is the third largest city in Oman and it's right on the coastline. It's famous for its pristine beaches and glorious waterfalls, mountains and even some blowholes. The area is known for its two main seasons. We are here in the winter time in November and that ranges from around October through to February and then they also have a Karif season which is during the notoriously hot summer of the rest of the Middle East but here it's cooler, there's a lot of rain actually, fog, mist, um, there's waterfalls and a lot of water. So it's a lovely time to come to escape the heat if you're an expat or living in the Middle East and you want to get away from that harsh August sun. Well, we plan to travel around, explore the place, see some of the beaches, hopefully walk through a few wadis and see some of the iconic sites that Salala is known for. We've just arrived, it's the morning time and we're getting ready to get in our hire car and explore. So let's get going, let's check out what Salala has to offer. Suzuki Vitara, which is going to take us around Salala through to some of the waterfalls and wadis with any luck. We arrived at roughly 10.30 a.m. and it's now 11 a.m. It's a beautiful day, a little bit humid. Uh, it's certainly not the cool, misty, foggy weather of the Karif season, but we're looking forward to our drive along the coastline and the various stops on our itinerary. This is a great place to come if you're a resident in Abu Dhabi. There's a quick two hour flight uh, in the morning that takes you right here. Driving time today is around three hours and we've got various stops along the way. We'll be checking into our hotel a bit later on today. There's a few exciting things coming up. Let's crack on. At our first destination which is the Shart sinkhole. It's so much vegetation around here it's very green um, and we are just trying to peer down the edge to see how far into the sinkhole we can see. There's this car park that you can drive to at the end of the road and just across from it is the Shart sinkhole. about a four to five hundred meter pathway leading us down to the Shart sinkhole. There's a viewing platform at the end and we can already see a glimpse down into the sinkhole. It's actually a little bit difficult to see a long way down into the sinkhole but still worth coming and checking it out. This is our first stop on our itinerary today. We've been through two police checks already since we're quite close to the Yemeni border. They took our passports at the last check. I think maybe to take a photograph or whatever, but no problems, they let us through. And we obviously look like complete tourists with our Salala pamphlets and itinerary. <laughs> so onwards and upwards, we've got quite a few more things to fit into the day yet. part of Shart. It's glorious. We've got amazing views across the water and we're on top of a cliff that just drops dramatically down to the sea below. There's a lot of locals up here. It seems to be a really popular place and there's a little area that we're about to go down to which has got a hidden walkway that oversees the water and check out the views from there. There's a 
duck under for this one. Very low roof. This is so amazing. This is like one of those places you come that there's barely anyone else except locals. It's a real treat. Almost there. Wow. Hoping not, no bumps to the head. Watch where my footing is going right now. me now. The very daring tourists up ahead getting extraordinarily close to the camels for a picture. <laughs> this camel just does not care. beach behind me, a really long beautiful stretch of white sand beach. And there is a little cafe and restaurant Al Marni at the headland. Here is the magnificent cave Marni. Around the corner we are expecting to see some blowholes which look really impressive from the photos we've seen so hopefully we get lucky and have a spurt of water. <laughs> this is a really popular tourist site there's quite a few people around here and there's another small walk out to the blowholes. the blowholes and you can see these grates in the ground. This is where the water erupts from. I'm a bit worried to get too close to them. <laughs> I'm not sure if we're here at the right time, the right tide. Well, sadly, after watching the blowhole for a little bit of time, I don't think we're going to see it erupt today, but it has already blown its top once today. We can see the watermarks around it. Well, even though we didn't see the blowholes erupt, we have managed to find another herd of camels to keep us entertained. <laughs> They're so funny to watch. There's such caricatures of funny faces, constantly drinking and just munching away um, and they're really not afraid of humans. Next up we're off to see an abandoned ship.
where we were was nowhere near the same amount of distance as to the ship. So we have aborted our mission to find the abandoned ship. Uh, we're chasing sunlight and the road is in really poor condition. The Suzuki Tara has held up reasonably well, but it's time to head back to the hotel and check in.